Alright guys, it's Jay from Crapper Tech again, and uh, just in case you guys ever encounter any problems or anything like that when you're trying to root your own hub, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a guide for you guys so you can restore it. Um, unfortunately, there's no native application for the operating system that you're in, so you're going to just have to use Google Chrome. Um, it's actually pretty nice that there isn't native because you can just use Google Chrome and it doesn't need a specific OS. So I kind of like the idea, but then I don't know. I guess it would just be cool to to download and use it as an actual, actual program, but I guess this is the new age now. So anyways, um, just download Chrome, go down to settings, and uh, extensions get more extensions and just put on hub recovery enter and dun 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 there it is add to chrome so add app and it adds it up there so now what you're going to want to do is make sure you have your usb inserted then launch that application okay so need a usb select manufacturer there's only one as of yet, select the USB, select that USB, continue, and create now. It's going to erase everything, and wow, it's unpacking pretty fast. See how long this actually takes? Wow, that's pretty fast. Alright, so now it's going to ask you for your password. And now it's writing. Okay. So yeah, this is gonna take a while. So uh, once it's uh, once it's done, we're gonna switch back over to the OnHub, and we're gonna go ahead and show you that process. But um, if you don't want to wait for that, you can just click Learn More here. It's gonna open up browser, and it's gonna open up this page. Um, and you just go down here. How do you recover? So basically, it's just the same as the root process goes, but doesn't involve the developer switch. So you're just going to go ahead and um, you know, unplug the power cable, insert the USB, and then hold the reset button and put in the power cable, and that should be it. So it says it's going to take about 15 minutes. So even if the lights turned off whatever but yeah 15 minutes that's how long it's going to take so so yeah it's still writing so we'll switch back over all right so now to restore the factory firmware or you know operating system or whatever this is the usb that we created through the on hub recovery and just go ahead and stick it in there and now you're going to need something to poke the reset switch. This is the reset switch. If you haven't followed my uh, booting guides. So that's the reset switch. So you're going to want to hold that and put in the power at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're going to want to hold it. Hold it down first. Then like this in. Wish I had something smaller to poke it, but this works. Okay, so you can see a white, white light, and then orange, and red. And there you go. It's actually starting to restore the uh, on hub. This is different from the root process. Um, it automatically probably did a checksum check and uh, just noticed that it was a uh, official firmware. See, there you go. You can tell that it's reading and it's writing. So, this is going to take about 15 minutes. So, just sit tight and there you go. Now you have a, uh, a restored. On hub. So now you can go ahead and start setup like you would 
um, and kind of like you when you did the unboxing. So there you go. And uh, now hopefully this solves any problems that you have when you were trying to root it, and uh, you guys can reroute it. So now you guys just have everything you need. All right, thank you.